winning. No gunshots, but they getting low, 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 getting. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Craft Farms here with another video, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you guys. It is a blender tutorial and a little bit of Giants Editor. So now, what I'm going to be doing, uh, I have a good buddy of mine that is just starting on his first mod, and he's having a few issues, and he's been, you know, I've been helping him out, but there's just some things that are hard to explain in a Facebook message. So, I'm doing this tutorial. I've been wanting to do this tutorial for a while anyways, um, I just haven't done it, and um, I'm starting it again. So... Many of you know that I had been working on a Chevy, uh, an 82 Chevy C30. That's what this truck is. Uh, I've actually started work on this. This is just the DA, DAE file, which is the file that comes directly out of SketchUp. The reason that I am using the DAE file rather than just my normal Blender file is because I still have a lot of work to do in Blender on this truck before I am ready to do any of the stuff I'm going to show you guys. So therefore, I am doing it just like this. So what I have do have done is I have joined all the pieces together uh, on this model, and you do that by select by pressing A. So you see it's selected. I press A, it deselects. And you know what? We'll actually go like this. We'll see how far back we can go. So if you see here, I've got all these SketchUp pieces. So what I'm going to do is delete this last save SketchUp view, press A to select everything, and then left control, oh, I have to select a few things. So to select these, you have to hold shift. Now I'll go left control J, A, A, left control J, there we go. So let's bring this back up here. So now what we need to do is centralize this truck. So what we're going to do is we're going to tab into edit mode, and I want to be in um, face select, and I'm going to press A to select everything, and then I'm going to press N, and that's going to bring up this little menu. Now I'm going to set all these to zero, and tab back into edit mode. Okay, so now need to go I need to go into the tech the materials tab and get rid of all these colors that it has already there we go so now you can see that it's like this so now uh, once you have your model and it's complete now you're ready to start the texturing phase and other parts so what you want to do is you want to tab into edit mode make sure that you have everything selected now you want to go into the tools tab and go to the remove section and click remove doubles. And you can see it removed over a thousand things that were doubles. Now you want to go to shading slash UVs and click recalculate. So what that's going to do is make sure that all of your faces, actually let's undo that. I'll show you why. So now if we go file, export as, an, well, let's give it a color first. Let's go with a nice blue. There we go. Okay, now let's export it as an i3D. And I want to go to my desktop and then export it. So now you can see that we have it exported. Oops, that's not what I want to do. I want to open this with Giants Editor. I want to close that. So now if you look, you can see through a lot of this truck. Like if we go in, you can see through the truck. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we want to click No. Go back into Blender. Now tab back into Edit Mode, and then you do the Recalculate Faces. So now... We export it. Now, if you look, you cannot see through it. If we go inside, inside you still can a little bit, I guess. But if you look, now you can't see through it like you could before. 
So that's what that does. And then if you have extra faces that need flipping, you can just select them, press W, and then click Flip Normals. But because we did um, other stuff already, we don't need to do that. Another thing that you want to always do is add the edge split modifier. So you do that by going to this little wrench right here, click add modifier, and click edge split. Now if you guys noticed, it just changed this truck a lot. See, look at how different this is right here. Now if we bring it back up, just look at the difference in this truck. And then you want to click apply. All right. So now you can see this truck looks a whole lot better. It's got smoother edges. Now it's time to do our textures. All right, so we want to tab into edit mode. You want to go up here and drag this over. And you can get rid of that. And you want to go down here to this little cube in the bottom and change it to UV image editor. And you can see it there. Now you want to go over here and you want to press the U key. And you want to click Smart UV Project. Now you can leave the angle limit, but the island margin, you want to go 0 0.1. Not 0 0.12. 0 0.1. And click OK. All right, so now you have your image here. That's this entire truck. Now you want to create a new image. Uh, I'm just going to call this Sample. And then you want to change this to 2048. 2048 and you want to uncheck alpha and there you go now you can see that you have that there so now we have our material we also want to go to the world section which is the little globe and you want to check ambient occlusion check environmental environment lighting and check fall off the strength you want to be 2.5 and the samples you want to be 20 now if you go over here, to the camera, and scroll down to Bake, you want to change this to Ambient Occlusion, and then you want to check the Normalized box, and change this to 20, and click Bake. It'll take a little while to bake, so just gotta be patient when it bakes. So let that uh, bake up. And then you want to make sure that you have clear checked. Because if you don't have clear checked, it'll have all these black, all the black, it'll still be there. Okay, so we're just going to minimize Blender for now. Let it do its thing. Now we're going to delete this truck. I okay, guys, so it's done. And I just, I screwed up. I... You're supposed to do full render, not ambient occlusion. I messed that up. So now I switched into texture mode. And you can see our truck is textured. We'll actually go into rendered mode. And you guys can see it even better. So there's our truck. So we'll go back into texture mode. Back into edit mode. You want to go image. Save as image. I'm just going to save it to my desktop. Save. And then what you want to do is you want to go over here to this little checkerboard, which is the textures tab. Add a new one and open. And then go to your desktop, open your image, go into object mode. And there you go. So now, if you have the i3D um, export thing, um, the i3D export plugin enabled, export as a giant's i3D. Go to your desktop, export as a truck. That's what I'm doing anyways. You don't have to do that all the time. So now you want to open this with Notepad++. Now you see... Okay, it did not work. Why? Hmm. Not sure why it's not giving me my material. Or my file.
Okay, well, let's try this again. So let's get rid of that one. Let's bring this up again. Sample. Tab into edit mode. Image. Save as image. I guess I want to save this to actually. We'll just make a new folder. Okay, I want to refresh this. Go to my desktop here. Save it there. And we'll open it like that. Now let's try it. I think sometimes it doesn't like being in the desktop. Hmm, I still... Oh, that's why. I know what I did wrong, guys. I know what I did wrong. New material. Let's make it a red this time. And bake. And we'll rebake this as a red. So you can see it baking there. So now this truck should slowly become red or else it'll wait until it's fully baked. Something like that. So you can see like right there's our box. You can see because of the lines. Um, cabs in there. All the good stuff that we need. So yeah, when I do the completed version of this truck, it's not going to be all one like this or anything. Um... I'm going to sit and separate parts out and all that good stuff. Make it a nice, decent truck. Uh, might even separate the hood so that you can open the hood. That'd be kind of neat, I think. I don't know. I'm going to mess around with it quite a bit and see what I can do. So we're 80% baked, just about. 80%, there we go. So we'll let it finish its baking. It should be just about done. There we go. So now our truck is fully red. Now we'll save as an image. Overrate that one. New. Open. Open our sample. So now we have our AO. Now we're going to export as an I3D. Export as truck. And it should work this time. There it goes. So you can see it has all these slashes and periods, and then it has desktop new folder 2. You want to get rid of all of that, except for sample.png, just like that. So you, then you want to change this to DDS, and then where you see cause power, you want to change that from 50 to 10. And then specular color, you want to be 0, 0, 0. So what I do is just remove all but one of the zeros in each thing, just like that. So then you save that and close it, and then you want to open this in paint.net. And you want to go left control, shift, S. And you want to change this from PNG to direct draw surface or .dds. You can change the name if you want to, but you have to go back and change it in Notepad++. So now if we open our truck, I'll make sure I'm still recording. Now if we open our truck, there we go. There is our fully baked Chevrolet with its texture. So now we can copy this texture go like that and we can change this in uh, we can open this in paint.net and we'll change it to like a purple. Should change everything just about. Thing. Uh, I'm actually just going to change this entire image make it a solid purple I guess. Uh, you don't want to do this that's not the greatest idea, but I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes. So then you can go to Window, 
material editing you want to select your truck and if you click on these three things right here this shows the AO so now if you go to desktop and click your sample there you go now you got a fully purple truck so if you want something where you want to make different versions of it you can just do it that way so